Yeah, the lifespan of a boxer is usually about eight to ten years. My mm -hmm. last boxer that I had made it to just over 12, which was nice. Um, it's very tough when you have an animal that you love and then you lose them. Right. And when I lost my last boxer, when she had to be put down, she was quite ill. I said to my husband, we're not getting another one because it's just too difficult. It's really too difficult to go through the mourning process. Right. Because when you have an animal for 10, 12 years or more, they're, they're your family. They become a part of your family. Absolutely. So when they pass, it's very difficult, especially when you're very close with them. Mm -hmm. I had a very difficult time getting over the death of my last boxer, who mm -hmm. was named Melody. Um, Melody had a sister at the time, Harmony. We had Harmony and Melody. Beautiful. Harmony and, and, Melody. and Harmony passed first. Oh. And Melody, we had to put down because she was so sick. And then, I don't know, two or three years went by and I said to my husband, I just think it's time for another dog. Uh -huh. And he wasn't very happy about that, but we have her and we both love her and she's a very big part of our life. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, that's the way it should be. Yeah. And uh, can Shana do any tricks? Have you taught her any? Um, Shana does a lot of, th oh, I should have brought my harmonica. She sings, but she won't sing without the harmonica. Um, and even if I brought it today, mm -hmm. she probably wouldn't sing because she's very intrigued with Maya. Maya, say and, hi. And when Shana has her uh -huh. sights set on something, you cannot make her do anything. Really? Oh, Maya's crying. I think I've put her in an uncomfortable position. Here, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. There we go. So I kind of woke Maya up from her nap. I she know. was napping in the carrier. Yeah. And I think she's still in napping mode <laughs> at the moment. Uh-huh. Well, Shana, <laughs> Shana sleeps a lot during the day. Mm -hmm. um, but we have an enclosed pen, what we call a pen, in the way at the back of our yard. And so she goes out there, and pretty soon she'll be able to exercise. The people who live on the other side of the fenced-in area of mm -hmm. our yard have four or five dogs. Wow. And one of them is a little white dog named Lily. Mm -hmm. And Lily and Shana, although there's a huge difference in their size, mm -hmm. they cannot get to each other because there's a chain link fence, but they see each other. Yeah. And so they run back and forth along the edge of the mm -hmm. fence all the time. And that's how Shana used to get a lot of her exercise. Oh. But if their dog is out now, we have to bring Shana in because she's not allowed to run yet because she's still in the healing process uh -huh. of her surgery from her legs. But um, I think sometime in July, if she's home, we, uh, we live in Maine for the summer, so I'll be going up there tonight, and, and Shana usually comes with me, so she's up in Maine a lot. Uh -huh. But when she's home, she can go in her pen, mm -hmm. and she can run up and down with Lily. Nice. They're best friends through the fence. Oh, that's great. So and she does like other dogs. Oh then. yeah, she does. She does. Wonderful. Yeah. So did you ever send her to obedience school, like to train her? Well, we sent her when she was about eight or nine months old. Mm -hmm. uh, Shana is a very powerful, powerful dog. I could not keep control of her in the mm -hmm. class when she would see all these other dogs <laughs> in the class. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times the instructors had to hold her and try to train her by themselves, but she just didn't take to the training too well. She was just too powerful and too active. Mm -hmm. And I've never sent her back again, although I, I've been thinking of having a personal trainer for her on a one-to-one -one basis. Mm -hmm. And I may work. still do that. Mm -hmm. Because I saw that when I said paw, she responded to that. And well, she does a lot sit, of things. She, she that, Yeah, she will really respond. Nice. Um, if she's in the kitchen with me and, and I feel kind of lonely, I'll have her sit next to me and I'll mm -hmm. start a conversation with her and she'll answer me back oh, in her nice. own way. You know, Maya does that too. Does Every she? time I'm getting dinner started, she comes and she wants to see what I'm making. It smells good. <laughs> yeah. So what do you normally feed Shana? Shana is on a very, um, a very well prepared diet. Um, mm -hmm. It's put out by a company called Wellness. She eats one meal a day. I give her a third of a can of meat, Wellness, mm -hmm. put out by Wellness. 
and she has two cups of dry food with that mixed in and that's what she gets and then during the day we give her a few snacks I've cut way back on them since she couldn't mm -hmm. exercise much but she gets some snacks and she has what we call chewies oh. do you like chewies <laughs> do you like chewy chewies usually she responds to that word chewy chewies are basically a larger bone mm -hmm. and if Arthur and I have to go out and leave her for any length of time mm -hmm. we give her one of those to keep her occupied however we have since learned that when we come home from wherever we've been uh -huh. the chewy chewy is still there she will not eat it until we're home oh, that's so when we come well. in and my husband goes to the door to let her out uh -huh. she runs back to the house wherever she has left her little treat her mm -hmm. chewy and she picks it up and takes it with her. Nice. <laughs> Interesting. Well, Arthur, I want to come to you now. Um, so, Thank Arthur, you. why don't you tell me something about uh, the activities you do with Shayna or any funny incident that comes with to mind dog. with Shayna? Uh, funny incident when I was in Maine two years ago with our other mm -hmm. dogs, two dogs, Melody and Harmony. Yeah. I took them down by the high school football field, <laughs> the track, uh -huh. and I walked around the track with them. And then I let them run a little bit. And then I said to uh, Harmony and Melody, let's go into the car. And you called Melody. I called Melody, mm -hmm. and she came into the car. And I said to Harmony, come over here. She wouldn't come. There was this lovely girl running around the track. And I said, Harmony, get in the car. Oh, it was Melody. It was, well, excuse me, Melody. Uh -huh. And I said, Melody, please get in the car. And this girl stopped running. And she said, how did you know my name? I said. I don't, it's my dog Melody. She said, that's my name also, and I laughed. And I said, I'm sorry, she said, no, no, you have a beautiful dog named Melody. But that, she thought I was asking her to get into my car. It was funny. <laughs> Which was difficult. But it was, uh, I, I said, that, that was a funny instance in her life. And, uh, and tell was, them about when you walk with her at night, what, what people do when they see her. I think I told you that. When I walk with uh -huh. her at night, she's a beautiful dog, and my neighbors wonder why I go out at night. I said, because at 10 o'clock at night, she must have a watch on with a timer on it mm -hmm. because she comes to me at night at 10 o'clock every on night to go outside and <laughs> take up a walk. And when I do that, my neighbors wonder why I will go out that late at night because any area today you have to be careful. And right, I say, anyone I that sees my dog walking with me thinks mm -hmm. she's a, a vicious dog and they'll cross the street, and she isn't. Uh -huh. But I feel very comfortable walking with her. Uh -huh. And I notice now a lot of my neighbors have dogs now mm -hmm. because they ask not only as a, as, as a companion, mm -hmm. protection. People today are afraid living alone, and they feel a dog is a good companion. Absolutely. Now, at night, if somebody comes by a house, she'll run to the window mm -hmm. and look out the window so, so, to see what it is. She's a good protection dog. That's great. So that's, uh, she keeps me busy, and even when my wife's not home, I'll feed her, I'll take her for a walk. But my mm -hmm. wife is the one that bred her very, very quickly and mm -hmm. takes her to school and uh, she oh. doesn't, as you say, she doesn't want to train her to be a, so a, a special dog. A show dog. A show yeah. dog. She feels she doesn't, she'd rather have a house dog. 